Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So today I'm going to be talking about a dead horse that has already been beaten so thoroughly it's ridiculous even though the subject has only come out today or I guess last night. Um, YouTube Red was announced, which I am sure an infinite number of people are going to Freudian slip into RedTube. Hopefully I will make it through this cast without actually saying that. But um, <laughs> YouTube Red has caused a collective panic attack on YouTube. And kudos to Total Biscuit for actually doing his research because he provided some articles and documentation that explained it a bit better than YouTube itself explained it. And I have read through all of that stuff, both his articles, the releases from YouTube, all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to mention it in a couple of different aspects because I think it's actually a good thing, but it's going to fall completely flat on its face. YouTube Red is a product without any kind of user base. Anyone who would potentially use YouTube Red is either already using ad blocker, is already supporting a the YouTube content creators through Patreon or fan supporting, or doesn't care and is going to watch the ads anyway. You're basically charging $10 for ad free YouTube, which is so ridiculously easy to achieve that it's... It's entirely pointless. But setting aside the fact that this is probably just going to completely and totally fail to pull anyone over, um, YouTube Red, in theory, is a good idea because it takes $10 and it gives it to content creators that that person watches distributed based on minutes watched. Currently, YouTube revolves around... Um, ads per click, ads per view, so you can make more money by releasing tons and tons and tons of short videos because more people will click on more videos, whereas with YouTube Red's promotional structure, um, it's going to favor people who can capture an audience and hold them for longer. For instance, I do Supreme Commander stuff. I have very long videos, and most of you guys watch basically all of them. So my minutes watched for how many videos I have is ridiculous. I believe right now I'm turning over like 700,000 minutes. I'm actually going to pull it up right now just for the purposes of this video because I really want to know these numbers. Um, my channel would perform really, really well under this structure because the content holds people for longer. Whereas other channels, which are doing short little blips on tons of different videos, are not going to pull in as much revenue from YouTube Red because they're not holding people for extended periods of time. And I think that's a good thing because it encourages good content. You're going to want good content to capture people's attentions, to hold their attention, and you're not going to be able to do that if you're just throwing any little thing at the wall and seeing if it sticks. Right now, 712,000 minutes per month, which is exponentially higher than anyone doing the traditional YouTube format um, with basically my subscriber count. So it, it, if it was able to be implemented on a large scale, if everybody subscribed to YouTube Red, it would be an incredibly favorable thing for a lot of creators that are pouring tons of time and effort into YouTube. So it would actually reward the right people. But uh, since nobody's going to subscribe to it, and <laughs> since there's already tons of other avenues to support creators, I just don't think in the end that it's going to make any difference at all how this goes down. That's just my thoughts on it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, hopefully you've read everything. If not, the media is very, very easy to find covering this topic. And just let me know what you think. I'd love to see you in the comments. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.